In this video, we're going to work on some practice problems that focuses on writing sets using set builder notation and the roster method. So let's start with this problem. Write the set of natural numbers that is less than 6 in roster notation and in set builder notation. So first, we need to know what exactly are natural numbers. Natural numbers are integers that start with 1 and go up. So natural numbers are basically positive numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, these are all natural numbers. 0.5 is not a natural number. 0 or negative 8 is not a natural number. Now we want to write this in a set where it's less than 6. So we should only include 1 to 5 because 5 is less than 6. We're not including 6. So first let's write it in roster notation. In roster notation, you simply need to list the elements. Set A contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we need to contain the elements using braces. So that's how you can describe set A using roster notation. Now let's describe it using set builder notation. So A is the set of all x such that x is a natural number. And we need to describe the limits of these values. x is greater than or equal to 1, but it's less than or equal to 5. So that's how we can describe this set using set builder notation. So let's go ahead and work on some more examples. Number 2. Write the set of whole numbers that is less than 8 in roster notation and in set builder notation. So whole numbers are natural numbers, but they also include 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are all whole numbers. And we only want it less than 8, so we need to stop at 7. So that's the list. And let's use B as the name of the set. So in Ross notation, set B contains the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 7. So in Ross notation, you just simply need to list the elements in the set. Now let's describe it using set build notation. So we could say that B is the set of all x such that x is a whole number. I'm going to use a w to represent a whole number. And also, x is equal to or greater than 0, but it's less than 8, as we have it in the beginning of the problem. Now, I could also say that x is equal to or greater than 0, but it's also less than or equal to 7. So both of these inequalities or compound inequalities, they will describe this set of numbers. So you can use this one or you can use that one, doesn't matter. However, you do need to say that x is a whole number. Number three, write the set of integers that is greater than negative four, but less than or equal to five using both notations. So integers can be positive or negative and they include zero. Now, the integer that is greater than negative 4 is negative 3. And then we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Now, it has to be less than or equal to 5. So it includes 5. So that's the list of numbers that we have. So let's use set C. So in Ross notation, set C will contain these elements. Now what about in set builder notation? How can we describe it? So we could say that set C or C is the set of all X's such that X is an integer. I'm going to use I to describe integer and it's between negative 3 and 5. Or I could say that 
it's greater than negative 4, but it's less than or equal to 5. So both ways work. So now you know how to describe a set using set build notation or using the roster method. Number four, write the set of positive even numbers that is less than 15 using both notations. So let's use D as the name of the set. And let's start with the roster notation. So even numbers, they have to be positive. Two is a positive even number. Four, six, eight, 10. And we're going to stop at 14 because it has to be less than 15. And 15 is an odd number. So this is the list in Ross notation. Now let's describe set D using set build notation. Now instead of using the letter X, I'm going to use 2X because the numbers differ by 2. Now I'm still going to say that X is, in this case we can use a natural number. All of these are natural numbers. And X has to be between 1 and 7. Now let's make sense of this. When X is 1, 2X will have a value of 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And when X is 7, 2 times 7 will give us the value of 14. And so from 1 to 7, we'll get the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So when x is 2, 2x, two or 2 times 2, will be 4. When x is 3, 2 times 3 will give us 6. When x is 4, 2 times 4 will give us 8, and so forth. And so that's it for this problem. So that's how you can describe this set using the roster method and the set building notation. Number 5. Write the set of odd numbers that is greater than or equal to negative 7, but less than 5. So let's use the letter G. And let's start with roster notation. Now it's greater than or equal to negative 7. And negative 7 is simply a negative odd number. Negative 5 is also an odd number. And then we have negative 3, negative 1, 1, now, we cannot include 5. It has to be less than 5. It's not equal to it. So we need to stop at 3. So that's set G in Ross notation. Now let's describe set G in set build notation. So once again, we simply need to use 2x as opposed to x. But for odd numbers, we're going to add 1 to it. So we're going to say 2x plus 1. Because if we simply use 2x, we're going to get even numbers. But if you want odd numbers, use 2x plus 1. Because the number still differs by 2. Now, we're going to say that x is an integer. Because these are not natural numbers, they're integers. And at the same time, we need to say x is between two numbers. Now, which two numbers should we use? To find the two numbers, what we're going to do is set negative 7 equal to 2x plus 1. So let's start by doing that first. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 1. Negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8, and that's equal to 2x. And then divide by 2, negative 8 divided by 2 is 4. So x has to be equal to or greater than negative 4. That's the first number. Now let's find the second number. So we're going to set 2x plus 1 equal to the last number of the set. That's 3. And so let's subtract both sides by 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then if we divide both sides by 2, x is 1. So x has to be between negative 4 and 1. So if we were to plug in negative 4 into this, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 1. That will give us negative 7. If we plug in the next number in this list, that's negative 3, 
2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 1, that will give us negative 5. And so this equation will describe this set of numbers when these numbers are plugged in into that expression. So for example, if I plug in x equals 0, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1, that will give me this number. If I plug in negative 1 for x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 1, that will give me negative 1. And if I plug in the last one, positive 1, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, that will give me the last number, positive 3. And so you want to make sure that you have the right algebraic expression plus the values of x that go into it that will produce an output that gives you this, uh, these set of numbers. And so that's it for number 5. 6. Write the set of positive prime numbers that is less than 12. So let's use k as the name of the set. And let's do so in roster notation. So 1 is a prime number and it's positive. 3, actually 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. 4 is not a prime number because 2 times 2 is 4. 5 is a prime number. And then we have 7. 9 is not a prime number because 3 times 3 is 9. And for 10, 2 times 5 is 10, so that's not a prime number. 11 is a prime number. And we have to stop here. It has to be less than 12. Now, how can we describe it using set builder notation? So let's say that k is the set of all numbers, x. Now, it's going to be hard to write an equation that will describe these numbers. So if it's difficult to write the equation, use words. So we could say x is a prime number. And then we could say that x is between 1 and 11. Or we could say that x is less than 12. Both cases will be fine. And that's it. So if you can't come up with a mathematical expression that will describe this pattern of numbers, use words. Keep it simple. So here is the last problem of this video. Write a set of positive perfect square numbers that is less than 120. So let's use R as the name of the set. So 1 is a perfect square, 4 is a perfect square, 9 is a perfect square. The reason why 4 is a perfect square is because 2 times 2 is 4, or 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9, so 9 is a perfect square. What is the next perfect square in the list? 4 times 4 is 16. So that's the next perfect square. 5 squared is 25. 6 squared is 36. 7 squared is 49. 8 squared is 64. 9 squared is 81. 10 squared is 100. 11 squared is 121, but that's greater than 120, so we're going to stop here. And so those are the positive perfect square numbers that is less than 120. Now, let's describe the set using set build notation. So what expression in terms of x describes these numbers? It's going to be x squared. And x, we could say, is a natural number. The lowest x value that we have is 1. 1 is a natural number. And x is between 1 and 10. Because if we plug in 1, 1 squared will give us 1. And if we plug in 10, 10 squared will give us 100. So any number that we plug in between 1 and 10, where it's a natural number, not a decimal or a fraction, it will give us all of the numbers in this set. And so that's it. 